with the last names now missy this is this came up this is probably late last year mm -hmm. and i made a post about it. i made a post on facebook or something about it and i think at the time i was like i, I say it i was like man yeah we gotta we actually was gonna talk about it like beginning of this season but we like we need a it'd be great to have a woman on mm -hmm. you know to really discuss to have some type of objectivity you know to go along with that now when it comes to last name it, it, it was always a, a thing for me i just i just think that's the way it should go mm -hmm. um now i did get some perspective on my facebook post because i grew up with some people that are doctors you know and so they did it but it was like she was like it was hell to to go through all that process to get it changed because of you know other stuff like that and you know obviously you got a situation where people are celebrities and famous mm -hmm. to where now their whole brand you know corporately is you know for lack of Whitney Houston you know mm -hmm. and so now it's like she married Bobby Brown like and she's in the thick of her career in the prime like it wouldn't make any sense to change it to yeah, Whitney, Whitney Brown, Brown or Whitney even Houston Whitney Brown. Houston Brown you know what I mean like I yeah. get that but that's a that's an anomaly type of situation right mm -hmm. but for most people I'm like in order to uh, I, I just think it's the best thing like but it, it, again if your man or your husband don't is cares less about it, that's between them. You know what I mean? But most men that I know, that that name means something. You know what I'm saying? But not only just to take their name, but it, it, it means something, a whole lot of other things. You know what I mean? It means that, you know, you want to take on this responsibility of taking on my name. You know, you want to, you know, be a part of this family that the name came from. And so for you know, so it's that so when a woman to me doesn't take that name, it's just not, oh, it's just a name like a dude. I know me. I don't look at it just like it's a name. It's, it's something way more deeper than just taking my name. You basically yeah. saying I ain't good enough, mm -hmm. you know, would in a, in a, a sense. Would that have been a deal breaker for you? For sure. Okay. It would it would have been. And I think Todd, Todd said something about it, too, on the thing, you know, and he was like, you know, man, your woman, she's a good woman. You know, you think he would have, I was like, yeah, because at the end of the day. Right, I remember what he yeah, This would have been mm -hmm. something that we've talked about during the dating phase, right? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, maybe not would you take my last name, but it just, I just would have got the vibe of, like, she ain't taking my last name, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it just would have been there, right? Yeah. And so I would have been known, and I just would have just slowly, you know, pushed myself away. So, but that was one of the things that I think that I wanted. Like, I can't speak for any other dude. I know some dudes that are cool with it don't feel the way I do but for me I think taking the last name is like it's something that I wanted mm -hmm. you know what I mean because it's like I said because if you didn't it just wasn't like you wasn't taking my name it's just a nonchalant type of thing it was like nah you kind of like what's up yeah <laughs> you know what I mean it's like why you know you, you you talking about you don't you don't like my mom my dad you don't like my name you don't you know what I'm saying you don't quote unquote you don't want to submit you know what I'm saying but that's a whole nother you know what I mean like whatever but so uh Tell me, tell me, tell me, miss, what's up, man? What you think? So, now, I looked up about that, you know, the practice, it's called coverture, um, C-O-V-E-R-T-U-R-E, with practice of change. I know it's, it's mostly a European, you know, American thing, but... Um, coverture, okay. Yeah, so, you know, so, and I know, like, I was looking up some research. Mm -hmm. There was, until, until 1970 in America, a woman could not get a passport, a driver's license, or vote if she did not change her name to her husband's last name. Mm, okay. So that was until nineteen seventy. That's kind of that's kind of recent. Nineteen seventy. Until nineteen seventy in America, a woman you could I could not leave the country if I was married unless I changed my paperwork on my last name. I could not vote. I could not drive a car. No oh, driver's license. Okay, okay. So you know, see, it was a it was a big thing. Um, but I feel as if like you know when you get I'm more traditional, so I do feel as if when you get married, you know, it's like in the Bible when when God did something different with like. With from Abram to Abraham, or you know, uh, so, you know Paul, Saul to Paul. I feel like yeah. when you have a, a major change in your life, a shift in your life, I think you should. I think a name change is good. Right. And I think this, you know, there's nothing wrong with the practice. Like I think it's the, you know, my mom changed her last name both times. You know, um, I think it's a good practice. And like now, in the case of professional women, like my mother it was an attorney. My mom passed away 2022, but my mother was an attorney for like 20 some 23 something years. Did she put a whole law practice? under my Myra Quinn. This is my dad's last name, Myra Quinn. Mm -hmm. So she had like tons of clients. She had you know, probably hundreds of clients who knew her as Myra Quinn, attorney Myra Quinn. So when she got married to my stepdad, you know, a lot of her clients wouldn't have known. They wouldn't have known to Google or look up Myra Martin. They didn't know her like that. Yeah. 
So what she did, she just, she made like her middle name Queen. So she made it Myra Queen Martin. So then if her clients would Google her, look her up, they wouldn't be like, who is this? So, you know, so I know when women are professional, like, like yeah. if you're like a celebrity or something like that, a doctor, you know, I can see why women, if you better hold, like if I had a book, my book, my book is written in Righteous Raymond, but if it was Misty Quinn, if he was trying to find me and they're like, they wouldn't look up Misty Martin, I'm like, who is that? So I do feel as if, if you have a lot of things in print or CDs or albums or films out there under a name, I can see you wanting to keep it so people would not get, you would not lose your following. But I'm more traditional. I do believe that women should, you know, change their last name. Cause it does kind of show, cause like, you know, when you get married, you kind of, you leave and cleave and you kind of change your identity some. So if your identity stays exactly the same the whole time, it's like, you're still, you're not trying to lose your identity. You're trying to still be your whole full self. And what are you really leaving behind if you don't want to, you know, even, cause name, you know, name has a lot of power to it. So I feel like women should change their last name. I know a lot of feminism, you know, the feminism oh, going on. Yeah, and that's that's thing, that's you know, I can, you know, it was at the time where a woman could not own property. So she yeah. had to have her. So I understand all the background of it. But I believe that women should change their last name. <laughs> now, so, some of the feminists, now, since you brought, you brought that up, I've heard them like, why don't you take my last name? <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah. He was like, you know, why, why don't you take my last name? Or, or can it be a discussion? You yeah. know, like, I know traditionally I'm supposed to take your name, but, right. you know, but, hey, like, we're in 2024. Like, why can't, why can't you discuss taking my name? Yeah. You know what I mean? And, yeah, yeah. And, that, and like, and another thing I uh, thought about when you were speaking, like, it's also... It's, it's one of the things, not only the the ring is obviously a big giveaway, but then obviously if I'm in high school and I'm looking up somebody that I know was named was Kimberly Nash, you know what I'm saying? And I see her years later and I'm single, you know, and I see her, see her name Kimberly Nash, I'm going to be like, oh, shoot, shot, right? she ain't got marriage yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I was like, oh, snap, I, you know, may get a shot. So it's it, it's also a sign before you even having a conversation, it's like, no, nah, I knew you as well, my wife's maiden name was Heron, mm -hmm. you know, but now it's Brown. So now it's a whole different identity mm -hmm. and it's a whole different life. So to you can't me, approach me the same way. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, how can you not do it in, in good faith? Like I, I, I don't expect. I want to say a believer, but like I even know some some people that's not a believer that think like this, that's pretty much like you know, how I, you know, feel about it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think it's a, it's even a believer or a Christian thing. It is. I think it's, 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 it's biblical, but I think you got a lot of people just like that's ingrained in them because you, I mean, being married, like it's a totally different life. You know what I'm saying? So a totally different identity, as you were saying, like Abram as Abraham, you know, when Paul took on his new identity, you know what I mean? He changed, you know what I'm saying? His name changed. And so, I think it's I think it's the proper thing to do, and so to me, I just think when people put the hyphy on it, that's like I don't even like. And like I said, I mean, his, now Hispanic cultures, you know, they keep their they their mothers and, their, and mother and their father last names. So, you know, a lot oh, of they cultures, do. Okay, a lot of cultures don't. A lot of cultures don't change their name. In some cultures, it's illegal to change your name. You have to keep your same maiden name. You know, mm. you know. So you know, so I think it's it's an American thing. Um, so I think it's you know it's it's just I do think it kind of shows a sign of like uns like she's not submitted. Yeah. Like, I'm not like. Oh, you said the word. In, in, in you case, said the word. Oh, snap. It's like, in case we divorce. She said the ain't word. I ain't got to change nothing. My paperwork, in case we divorce, my passport ain't got to be changed. I yeah, think it's, yeah. like, it's, like a, it's, like, it's almost like having like a prenup kind like, of thing. Like a just in case. You know, it feels like a prenup. It's like, yeah. in case he act the food, I can get up out of here. Yeah. That changes my visa, my passport, all the things. So I feel like it's kind of a. It's almost like she's not. She's got one foot in the door, one foot out the door type of situation. So yeah. I, I I would be kind of like it's like like you said about the ring it's like a man not wearing his ring it's like why you don't put your ring on just a ring ah, yeah, you're getting put into the ring on else. you know if you right, need, if right, you need right, to have right. this ring off every time it's like you trying to not claim me so uh, I see no no the same. no no if a woman, we talked about this if a woman <laughs> yeah, does it's definitely yeah. if a woman leave the ring it's definitely like <laughs> oh yeah it's something else oh yeah she's she like you you y'all beefing nigga you fucked up y'all beefing um <laughs> but now like definitely. In, in the Bible, when whenever God made a covenant with somebody, their name changed, right? Like Abraham, Abram to Abraham, even Sarah, it was Sarai from Sarai to Sarah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jacob went from Jacob to Israel. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like we we still refer to him as Jacob, but his name changed to Israel mm -hmm. after the covenant was made when they wrestled, you know, all night, and he yeah. broke his hip. Yep. So you know to break the hold on him, he changed his name to Israel. We don't think about that, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, like it was a lot of name changing with covenants. Um, 
I'm not. I, I will say it's more of a Western thing, not necessarily an American thing. But we have to remember, up until a certain point in history, people didn't have surnames or last names. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it would just be JB's son, or or it would be like, oh, you're Tobias, son of JB. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're name. you're Roche, son of Roche. Like that was how you were referred to. It wasn't yeah. necessarily a last name. You were just referred to as whoever your daddy was. Yeah. Um. Like so, that, like Jesus said, that's Joseph's boy. Right, that's Joseph's son. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So it's more of a Western thing. I would say probably 1500s, 1600s, when people started actually taking surnames or having a last name. And generally, the last name was whatever region you were from or whatever your job was. Like, for example, a Smith, you got the Smith last name from like a blacksmith or. Uh-huh. Whatever type of Smith you were, that's how you got the Smith last name. If you're free, if you're a free slave, you're a freeman right. or something. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, right. Or right. John, Johnson actually came from John's son. You know what I'm saying? And so now, because uh-huh. you're John's son, now all of your kids' last name is just gonna be Johnson, uh-huh. because the the, the progenitor of that family was John, and all of his son like so the, your last name is gonna be Johnson. Uh-huh. Um. So uh-huh. then, when that started to take place, then it it did become a, a form of identity, like what you were saying, JB. Um, so what, what people don't see is, is essentially when you reject the last name, what you're saying is I'm still holding on to your past, your past. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yep. A lot of times, especially like I would say last hundred years or so, the way that they kept up with the kids to know who was related to who was, you got your daddy's last name. Mm Mm-hmm. So now, if everybody holding on to a last name, you might be messing around, with sleeping with a cousin right. or, or even a sibling, <laughs> right? Because yeah. oh, yo, oh, what's your last name? Oh, your last name Davis. Oh, my last name Raglan. But mm-hmm. had your last name been Raglan, I would have known. Like, oh wait, Raglan. Now nah, we related. You know what I'm saying? Oh wait, your last name Davis too. Well, we need to check, right? Because my last name, like, we may not be related. Davis a little bit more common, but but let's check. You know what I'm saying? But like now if Raglan, Davis, oh, we ain't got I don't I don't think we got no that but all the while, yeah, somebody didn't get somebody's last name. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So so in that that aspect, um Yeah, it is dangerous. I don't see the need, like now again, you built up a practice of twenty some years. Right, 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 right. Uh and, and I wanna say she did change her last name though, right? Yeah, and she, she, she just did, kept she it on. Even, she didn't even hyphenate it though. She just fun. She made, my mom is Myra Lane Quinn, but she made Quinn her middle name. She didn't hyphenate it. She just had Myra Quinn Martin. Mm-hmm. So her last name was still Martin, but she, it was, right. like at work, she would add the Queen so people could not be, you know, mm-hmm. lost on who she was. Right. So so even in that aspect, it was still a change. Like, I'm still receiving you. This is just for the benefit of people who, so yeah, they, right, to make right. a connection so they not, don't get confused. Yeah. But I, I just hate the arrogance of people. Oh, how will people know how to find me? Like, nobody knows you now. 